hello and welcome to my channel econ academy in this tutorial i will show you how to estimate and interpret ardl model uh, using eviews so do like the video and subscribe to my channel before running ardl model there are some prerequisite conditions which must be fulfilled so the prerequisite conditions are um, the f number one if number one is if any of the variable is stationary at second difference then ardl model cannot be run and if any variable is non-stationary then still the ARDL model cannot be run and uh, the best condition for running ARDL model is if uh, some of the some of variable is and uh, some of variable is stationary at first difference and some of uh, variable is stationary at level and if the all of variable is stationary at first difference or all of variable is stationary at level then we still we can use ARDL model so now uh, these are some of the prerequisite conditions which must be fulfilled before uh, running ARDL model and now coming to eviews now I will show you how to estimate ARDL model and how to interpret it uh, first of all uh, I have already imported time series data um, in eviews you can watch it for uh, it from my other videos uh, in the playlist uh, so after importing uh, panel uh, after importing time series data in eviews first of all we will select the dependent variable and with the uh, we will press the control button hold the control button and then we will uh, select all our independent variables and we will right click and go to open and open as equation in the method section we will go to ARDL model uh, that is ARDL auto regressive distributed lag models and you can see that uh, the GDP n is the uh, GDP growth which is the dependent variable and this is government spending and this is investment and this is consumption so the GDP is the dependent variable and all the uh, three other variables are the independent variables so uh, the question arises how we will use optimal uh, how we'll find optimal lag for running uh, ARDL model if you have already uh, f found optimal lags uh, then you will use fixed and here you can you will uh, select the one which you have already found and this is for dependent variable and these are for independent variables but if you do, uh, don't have um, if you didn't find uh, optimal lags then uh, then in strata AR uh, in if you use ARDL model will automatically select optimal lag and for this you have to um, click on this automatic selection and the number of lags you can uh, choose any one maximum lags anything between 1 to 12 let's suppose I'm selecting 8 you can uh, select anything between this this uh, this is for dependent variable and these are for independent variables and if you have dummy variables in your um, model then uh, you will use here and first you will uh, put uh, add mark add sign and you will write expand and in the parenthesis you will write the name of the dummy variables which you have but I don't have uh, any dummy variable in this case so I will leave it blank and the method is uh, ARDL sample and once more thing one more thing is that um, there are three criteria three criteria through which we can um, choose optimal lags uh, so for this we have we will go to option and here you can see that the model selection criteria and we here we have uh, actually in the panel data we have three criteria however in the time series data we have four criteria so the one is a khaki info criteria Schwarz criteria and uh, Hannon Quinn criteria and adjusted R square so I will I will select 
ACAC info criteria you can select any one between these and uh, you have to mention that uh, in your thesis that I have selected that one specific uh, criteria for uh, choosing optimal lag and this is the name of the coefficient and if you have a uh, heteroscedasticity in your model then in this coefficient co uh, coherence matrix you will select white or HAC for correcting um, for correcting heteroscedasticity and you will write this in your thesis that I have uh, corrected uh, heteroscedasticity through white or uh, through HAC and, and navy west so these are some of the uh, method how we will run ARDL model then we will click on OK so this is the result of our ARDL model which we have selected so this is the dependent variable which is GDP and this is the method which is ARDL and these are the sample of observation and then this is the included observation uh, which is 50 and maximum dependent lags uh, de uh, which we have choose for our dependent variables are 8 as you can see that from uh, that we have done this in um, uh, selecting the model and for the the model selection criteria is Akaku info criteria which I have shown you in options and the dynamic regressors uh, 8 lag which we have uh, dynamic regressors are the independent variables and we have selected maximum 8 lag for this and uh, this is constant and the number of models evaluated and selected model so what is number of models evaluated this is the number of models which have been which the number of different combination of lags which have been evaluated after uh, before selecting the optimal lags uh, so uh, these are 5832 models have been evaluated before selecting optimal lags and this is the selected lags uh, selected optimal lag which uh, you can see that uh, 8 for dependent variable and 8 for uh, investment uh, government spending and 8 for investment and 5 for consumption so and these are the these are the uh, short run uh, uh, short run results of uh, the dependent uh, independent variables and the R square is quite high which is 99% and uh, adjusted R square is also 99% and um, which means that model is a, be a best fit and the probability of F strat is 5 uh, is 0% which is below 5% means that the whole overall model is significant and uh, this is the criteria through which we have selected our model uh, our optimal lag so you will mention this also in your thesis that I have selected um, our my model through this criteria uh, which have a stats of this and now how we will interpret these results let's suppose uh, I show you how to interpret this government spending and uh, if the probability of uh, this variable specific variable is below f 5 percent or below 0 0.05 then we will say that this specific variable is significant and uh, we can also check all our all the significance of all the variable through this criteria that if the probability value is uh, below 5 percent or below 0 0.05 then we will say that this um, uh, this variable is significant otherwise uh, it will be insignificant and you, you can also check the significance through t stats if the uh, pro if the t stats is about two uh, or uh, if the t stats is two or about two in absolute form then we will say that this specific model is significant and otherwise if uh, the prob if the t stats is below 2 in absolute form then we will say that this specific model is insignificant 
now I will show you how this uh, coefficient is in will be interpreted so for this we have our coefficient for the government spending is the coefficient for government spending is 4.14 which means that if the government spending will uh, is increased by 1% then the uh, GDP which is a dependent variable will be increased by 4.14% as in this case you can see that there there is no uh, minus sign if if there is minus sign then we will say that if the government uh, the government spending is increased by 1% then the gdp will be decreased by 4.14% um, but if we have a negative sign here but in this case we have a positive sign so we will say that um, the government uh, if government spending increased by 1% then the GDP will be increased by 4.14% or if the government spending is increased by 1 then the GDP will be increased by 4.14 so these are uh, but you will also uh, write that these are the, if the government spending increased by 1% then the GDP uh, will be increased by 4.14% in the short run you should mention short run here you must mention short run here because these are the result of short runs not long run for um, uh, to watch how these um, models have been selected we will go to this how this specific optimal model uh, have been selected we will go to view and from there we will go to model selection summary and here we will go to criteria graph and in this the least will be the best uh, so you can see that uh, 8885 is the least among all of them so uh, this is um, this is selected on this basis and uh, so these are the result of short runs uh, now we will check whether if there is um, co-integration then we will um, uh, we will also uh, run long run relation for this we will use bounce test and I will show you how to um, uh, how to run bound test so after estimating this ARDL model we will go to view and to coefficient diagnostics test and here uh, in the use 10 we have long run form and bounce test however in the previous version we have a uh, bounce test here in the last so in this case we will select long run form and bounce test and these are the result of bounce test for um, the result of bounce test we will go to the last and this table shows the result of bounce test so in this table of bound test uh, this is this column shows the upper level of bound um, uh, bound uh, upper level and this is this shows the lower level so and we check uh, significant mostly through the 5% so the criteria for um, this bound test is if this F statistics if this value of F statistics is above then this value of upper bound uh, the 5% uh, level of upper bound then we say that there exists a long run relationship however if this uh, statistics of F uh, value uh, value of F statistics is below than this lower bound then we say that there is no long run relationship however if uh, if this uh, value of F statistics comes between the upper bound and the lower bound then we say that the result of F bound test is inconclusive so in this case you can see that the F stats is above than the upper bound uh, which the F statistic is 5.90 however the upper bound is uh, 3.67 uh, at 5% level of significance so we will say that there exists a long relationship and we will estimate that and for this for uh, we have already is estimated in this case uh, you can see that we will go a little up and you will see that these are the result of long run uh, relationship so 
now you can see that uh, these are the relation these are the results of long run relationship now we will interpret these results as well because we have uh, uh, f stats above and the upper bound and the bounds test shows that we have a long run relationship so uh, we will uh, now interpret these results as well so the gone spending the probability of gone spending is below 0 0.0 uh, is above 0 0.05 and uh, or above 5 percent so we will say that there is no long relationship between gone spending and gdp growth uh, however in the probability of investment is uh, below 0 0.05 or fi below 5% so we will say that there is long run relationship between uh, investment and uh, investment and GDP growth and same is the case of government spending that we will say that um, uh, sorry the same is the case of consumption so in this case the probability of consumption is uh, below 0 0.05 or below 5% so we will say that consumption uh, also have a, a long run relationship with the GDP growth we can also check the significance through the t stats if the t stats is uh, 2 or about 2 in absolute form so then we will say that this model is significant uh, this uh, variable is significant otherwise we will say that this variable is insignificant so after checking the significance uh, we will now interpret the coefficients uh, as the current spending is insignificant so we will not interpret in interpret its coefficient and the investment and the consumption is significant so we will say that we will interpret the coefficient of these two so uh, coefficient of investment is 0 0.84 which means that um, which will say we will say that if 1% in in investment increased by 1% then the uh, GDP growth will be increased by 0.84% in the long run so we also mention long run and if we have a negative sign here we only if we have a negative sign here then we will say that if uh, gone if investment increased by 1% then the GDP growth will be decreased by minus uh, that percent so however in this case we have not a negative sign uh, which means that there is a positive relationship between government spending and uh, sorry but between investment and uh, GDP growth so we'll say that if investment increased by 1% then the GDP then the GDP will be increased by 0.84% same is the case of uh, consumption as there is no negative sign so we will say that if con if consumption increased by 1% then the GDP will be increased by 1.22% or uh, we can also say uh, in the long run you will mention long run as well um, because these are the result of long runs and um, uh, another explanation in another interpretation we will say that if the investment if the consumption increased by one then the um, GDP growth will be increased by uh, 1.22 percent so this is from the today tutorial hope you will understand how to run as uh, estimate ARDL model so do like the video and subscribe to my channel bye for now see you in the next video